In this report, I will share my estimated costs to retire early on $830 per month in Sikihor Island in the Philippines, including only rent, groceries, utilities, restaurants, cell phone, laundry, water, Wi-Fi, and transportation. But we are all different, so you'll have to put your feet on the ground before you will know your estimated cost of living here. But first, I will show you around Sikihor Island so you'll know whether or not you're even interested in retiring early for cheap here. We're in Sikihor. Yeah. Our carriage has arrived. Same as the last time. We have some zucchini, or forgive me, some pumpkin ravioli, Parmesan butter on top, and a margarita pizza. It's look good to me. And life is good. Very nice. Nice little place we're at here. It's called uh, Dulce Amor, which I think means sweet, sweet love in Italian. Here, first day here in Sikihor. That's a lamb in the background, by the way. Sun setting. It's low tide, as you can see. Very beautiful. There's Chen Hoi over there. Wow, and there's the moon. The sun and the moon. This is way low tide. Very low tide. Yeah, look at these beautiful trees. Well, we see one low tide before. Yes, we've seen a few low tides. Costa Rica. You yeah. still remember that? Oh yeah, trio, the whale tail, yeah. yeah. Very U far. Uvita? Uvita. Yeah, I remember it well. That is very far, low time. They have like a little beach restaurant over there, local. There's a bar next to it. Very beautiful. Falls. Please register here first. Welcome to Kumgai Falls. You understand English? No, I don't. Yes, you understand, sir? Yes, she Only your name? Yeah. Where are you from, here? sir? USA? USA! It's 30 pesos per person. Is it like 60 cents? It's 20 pesos. Oh, 20 pesos per person. Okay, 40 cents. And we're walking down to the falls now. There's the falls. We love the watercolor here. I've seen falls like this before. There's one in Lao, one in um, Guatemala, Samuk Champe. Yeah, anyway, it's really beautiful the, the color of the water from the. I think it's some kind of sediment that makes it so blue. Hello. There's a bunch of smaller or big pools and they slowly get smaller and smaller as you go upstream. These, when we were last here in 2020, they had a block there, you couldn't go any further, but now you can go see these little pools up further. Yeah. We're looking for a spot to do some photography. This, this background, you gotta have some photos, of course. Wow, that's pretty. Very beautiful. 
That might be the swing. Beautiful. I don't know how to swim. Thank you. Have a good day. We're gonna walk across the top of the falls. Hopefully we won't slip and fall. Oh, it's yeah. they have a path there with a handrail. Yes. Yeah. We'll be fine. It's amazing, huh? Back to the Sikihor Falls on Sikihor. <laughs> it's been three years. Yeah, and uh, it's uh, still very beautiful. And recommend you come in the weekdays. Yeah, this is this is the number one thing you need to do when you're in Sikihor is come see these falls. Swing off that rope, get all your photos taken. It's beautiful. This is Noi Noi's eatery and Lazi. This is where we came right after the falls. And I have like a lentil soup, which is vegetarian. Chen has, what is that, like pork, pork uh, sausage and chicken and that's bitter. Yeah. Yeah. That's and rice. Bitter. And we'll let you know how much it is. This curry looks good. Nice lentil soup. It's good. The curry is really good. So our total beer is uh, our total beer is 160. Your green bean is 40 peso. Yeah. My chicken is 50 peso. And two small sauces is 10 peso each. And then uh, the green bitter melon is 40 peso. And so the whole thing. So my lunch was 40 pesos, which is whatever, like 75 cents for yeah. a lentil soup. And everything else was chunks, so it was like two, 280 minus, like it was two bucks and mine was 75 cents. <laughs> Here's the Hyper Mart in Lorena. And this is the largest grocery store that, or shopping of any kind we know of in the in Sikihor. There's low fat milk. We've got the Carlo Rossi wines. Uh oh, Oreo cookies. Troubles of brewing. Crackers and stuff. Donuts. Cracker. For the peanut. Okay. Yeah. For peanut butter. This is where you're gonna get your like shampoos and toothpaste and floss and stuff like that. You also have beds over there, furniture, refrigerators, stoves, umbrellas, clothes, clothing, hats. So this is a Buddha bowl here. You can see lettuce, watermelon, potato. Tofu, green beans, carrot. carrot, flour, which 
and beans under that. And this is a peanut sauce here, so. What do you have there? It looks like couscous and shrimp. Yeah, it's from not, that, um, not African dishes, so oh, let's try. Yeah, let's see. So this is Luco Loco, and mine is 380, and hers is 390. There's rice in the bottom too. But my one's very delicious. Mine's delicious too. Checking out beaches, obviously. <laughs> this one's called Palatine. And what was it? How much was it per person to drive and down the road? Entry fee is In 20 pesos. 20 pesos per person. So like 40 cents or whatever. US. Got a little bar here. Look at that. 50 pesos, less than a dollar for a rum and coke. A little restaurants and bars here and stuff. You just park your scooter up on the street there. So this is the beach we remember when we were last in Dimigeti we came over as a swing and restaurants and stuff. And it has the same name, Peloton Beach. Definitely have to come in a weekday. Yeah. Oh right. Yeah, weekdays are better. This is a Sunday morning. All these little tables here you can sit on. Coconuts, brewskis, whatever your thing is. Oh, a little floating island over there. I don't see that rope you hung off on that. Oh, there it is. Yeah, okay. Oh, this is the public market here in Sikihor. Individually owned little family stores. So here's San Juan Public Market. We were we were in Sikihor Public Market a second ago. This is the manga soup here. It's like a lentil bean, that green instead of brown. They have two. They have a noodle dish too, but I'm feeling like soup. This one, this one. White beans. White beans. White beans. And this is. The intestine of the cow, little spicy. Oh, this is green beans with potato and corn. Oh, they have a glass noodle. Glass noodle is no um, pebble. Because it's egg. Oh, yes, I was. 
Beispiel. Wir sind nicht fein. Oh, der Herr Master auch so hier. Mustard, wow. Ja, you can make some. The pasta sauce. Like Western school. Yeah. Pesto. Got wine here and tequila. Different kinds of whiskeys. Welcome to the Philippines. What do they have? Spaghetti sauce, spaghetti. Spices, look at that. It's just a little store over here in San Juan. Cheese. Cheeses. Yeah. Wow, coffee. Like we're in the yeah. Uh oh, they have Cheetos. God save the Queen. Ruffles, Cheetos. We're just kind of cruising around now, checking out waterfront places. We're in a place here called Shaka, which is like a fruit smoothies and stuff like that. Really kind of a cool spot. And uh, that's where they make the stuff over there, but. Right on the beach. Bonus, huh? Doesn't get any better than this. Nice, huh? <laughs> Crazy woman. I really knew I never really knew it about San Juan. I don't know. Maybe I just didn't look, but in Sikihor the beach just all through the San Juan area just keeps going. It's just one white sand beach. And some of it's like private homes, some are restaurants, but it just, look, you can see it just wraps around. There's a few spots where, you know, you can't walk, you probably have to get your feet wet, but it just keeps going and going and going. Kind of cool. Now I will share my itemized estimated cost to retire in Sikihor Island in the Philippines. However, the full report on retiring early in Sikihor is available at the first link in the notes below this YouTube video, including our favorite restaurants, markets, things to do like tours and nightlife, where we stayed, visa information, walkability, weather, hospitals, social considerations, expat communities, real estate, and visas, plus our overall retirement desirability score. Okay, I promise to share our cost of living estimate on Sikihor Island in the Philippines. Here's our estimated cost of living converted into U.S. dollars if the two of us move to Sikihor Island on a tight budget. But we are all different, so you'll have to put your feet on the ground in Sikihor to determine your cost of living based on how you would live, shop, eat, and entertain yourself. Okay, rents. You'll see furnished studio apartments on Airbnb starting from around 420 to 900 US dollars per month, including utilities and Wi Fi for properties offering the monthly rates on Airbnb.com. Link provided. The accommodation in the above photo is about 15 minutes from the San Juan area where most of the tourist restaurants are, so you'll need to rent or buy a scooter if you want to spend a lot of time in San Juan. But if you move there and are willing to sign a long-term lease, you should be able to beat that monthly rental rate since the landlord would have no vacancy. I estimate around 200 to 350 per month for a more local style apartment, but you'd have to pay your own utilities. In fact, we video interviewed an American that's paying just $172 per month for his one bedroom apartment plus utilities. I'll put a link to that video as soon as it goes live. So for this estimate, I'll use 250 per month for rent for a long-term rental, which does not include utilities, but does include a furnished one bedroom apartment rather than just a studio. Uh, but make sure to read my report, how I find perfect apartments around the world. Okay, utilities. Sikihor Island is at sea level, so we would need to run our air conditioner to sleep for most of the year. Our electricity would run around $60 per month, and gas and water would be another $20 per month, so about $80 per month for our estimated utilities. Okay, groceries. Based on our time here and the money we spent on groceries, we estimate about $240 per month on groceries for the two of us. We would shop mostly in the public market, 
where the vegetables, fruits, rice, and meats are cheaper. We would cook and eat mostly at home. We didn't really see any expensive expat-style grocery stores like you see in larger cities in the Philippines. Okay, restaurants. If we went out to eat twice per week, once for date night and once for a lunch somewhere, plus some street food, we'd spend about $35 per week on uh, or $140 per month in restaurants for the two of us. We would eat in mom-and-pop style restaurants when possible, but also in the expensive tourist restaurants once a week or so. There are some delicious Western-style restaurants in Sikihor Island to keep the tourists happy. Okay, cell phone data. The cost to recharge our prepaid service is about $10 per month. My Android phone will act as a hotspot so we can both be on the internet at the same time when we're out of the house together. We paid about $5 per week for laundry, drop-off, and pick-up, wash, dry, and fold, so about $20 per month for laundry. Water, reverse osmosis, drinking water in 20-liter bottles, jugs delivered would be about 50 pesos per month per jug, or about $20 per month. Okay, internet, our internet would be about $40 per month. Transportation, the area of Sikahor we like most is called San Juan. It's kind of spread out, so would not generally be considered walkable, especially if you wanted to be able to explore nature all around the island. So we would buy a used scooter and two helmets for around a thousand bucks. We estimate around three thirty dollars per month on transportation. That would be for gasoline. Okay, alcohol optional. San Miguel Pilsen Grande beers are one hundred and thirty pesos, or two dollars and thirty six U.S. Uh, in the stores. That grande is about two beers, so that makes beers about $1.18 each in stores, but you'll see regular size San Miguel Pilsen beers in restaurants for about 70 to 80 pesos or about $1.27 each. We would drink mainly at home, so we estimate about $110 per month in alcohol for the two of us. Okay, entertainment, optional. We would budget about $120 per month for entertainment for the two of us. Okay, let's add that up. Retire early for $830 per month in Sikihor in the Philippines. Okay, rent 250, uh, groceries 240, utilities 80, restaurants 140, cell data 10, laundry 20, reverse osmosis water 20, internet 80, transportation 30, and if you sum that up, our recurring monthly cost would be $830 per month. Um, optional alcohol at $110, and you're at $940 per month. And then optional entertainment at $120, bucks and you're at $1,060 per month in Sikihor. This is our estimated cost of living if the two of us move to Sikihor Island in the Philippines on a tight budget. To fully understand what it will cost you to live here, you must do an exploratory visit and put your feet on the ground. To get a better understanding of what you should add to our estimated cost of living, watch this video, Nine Reasons You Can't Retire on a Thousand a Month Overseas. Not everyone can. You should also add anything to the ta above table that you spend money on in your home country. Presumably, you find those things necessary in life. To do that, visit the, Dumi, the Numbio for Dumaguete webpage and add anything not mentioned in the table. There is no uh, Numbio webpage for Sikihor, so you'll have to use Dumaguete. Never move anywhere until you have visited first personally to verify the living costs for your lifestyle and needs. I'm not guaranteeing these prices. These are just my notes and estimates from the time of my visit and this post. Your costs will likely be drastically different depending on your lifestyle and the time since this post. More typical expat living costs in the Philippines range from about $1,400 to $2,400 per month, but people spending that much also have higher incomes or pensions. They often report spending more on entertainment, eating out, alcohol. Many also have more expensive cars, uh, houses, or apartments. Uh, but many of you will likely be unable to retire on so little here. I give example reasons why in this report, understanding why overseas living costs vary widely. You'll never know your cost of living until you do an exploratory visit with your feet on the ground. The, this next report explains how to avoid coming home early 
with your tail between your legs, how to not fail at retiring cheap overseas. Also, if you're going to try to retire cheap offshore, make sure to read my report, The Two Biggest Risks of, of Retiring Early for Cheap Offshore, which explains why you should have emergency funds available for unexpected large expenses. Thanks for reviewing my report. Retire early on $830 US dollars per month on Sikihor Island in the Philippines. This is Dan of Vagabond Awake, the YouTube channel for VagabondBuddha.com. The world is your home. What time will you be home for dinner? Hey, if you liked our video, please like, comment, or subscribe. Any of that would help our business. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Click the link in the notes below this video to get a copy of this content. Plus, grab a free copy of my ebook, How I Fired My Boss and Traveled the World for 13 Years. While you're there, check out our catalog of retired cheap reports all over the world and our hobby income course that we just released. Thanks so much.